guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed anything for YouTube and normally I do voiceovers but I've finally got my own space and I'm so excited because I am back and you'll be seeing me way, way more. Um, I've also taken a little break from Instagram but you've probably already seen that I've kickstarted that again so it feels really, really good to be back. Today I'm filming this everyday makeup tutorial so this is literally what i do every single day obviously i may alter things here and there but generally this is what i do i 100 percent can tell you that i change up the products that i use but this is actually what i tend to do every day it's so quick and easy and obviously it looks bomb so let's just jump straight into this video i'm probably going to ramble a lot because i have got a lot to tell you guys and there's been so much exciting stuff happening in my life and i'm so giddy but yeah we can chat about that while i'm doing my makeup anyway let's get on with it so my go-to for primer is the becca backlight priming filter i use this literally daily i don't even want to know how many bottles i've gone through i also love the purple one i'm not 100 percent sure what it's called but um this is my go-to i love the dewiness of it and the texture in general and how your foundation goes on afterwards is just beautiful um so i'll apply this to my cheek area and i like my t-zone to be oh not matte because i still do like that dewiness but I don't really know how to explain it. Um, radiant. So in my T-zone, I'll either go in with the um, Professional from Benefit or I've recently tried the Professional Pearl Primer and um, it's almost the same, but it does have a pearlescent kind of finish to it. Um, so this one goes on my chin, forehead, down the center of my nose. And it does a similar thing to professional, so it will fill any pores in and give like a smoothing effect. <laughs> but um, at the same time, because it does have that pink iridescent to it, it will get your skin looking nice and glowy. I guess my first little announcement is that we moved into our new house. So if you had seen a few months ago on my Instagram, I had put a photo up with Trent and I had mentioned that we were building our first home. Well, it is all finished and we have moved in. We've been in for a few weeks now, but not everything is fully like unpacked out of the boxes. So my mum and my sister and my dad and my sister's boyfriend, Jared, have all helped with the moving process. Um, let's move on to foundations. So because this is my like everyday makeup tutorial, literally I'm just running through what I do when I've got like 20 minutes to half an hour in the morning, but you kind of want that fresh fab look. Like, yes, I made an effort and yes, I do look this good with minimal makeup. So my go-to is always the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I love a dewy finish over a matte finish, but like I mentioned before, through my T-zone, I do prefer it to be a little bit matte because I find that around where my smile lines are can tend to crease but also if i'm wearing my makeup for like 12 plus hours i can tend to get a little bit oily even though i've got dry skin there will be a little bit of oil in that area so i'm going to use my pro glow in shade 203 which is nude beige which i feel is going to be a little bit too light but i'm going to mix it with my cover effects natural finish foundation the only thing is it doesn't actually have a shade name on here so i can't tell you what shade i am but i mean looking at the two of them together they look like they're similar colors so let's see how these go i haven't used my cover effects one in a long 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 ass time um and the brush that i'm going to use is the morphe 439 brush so this is what i use to buff my makeup out and then the mini beauty blender which is from dirty 30s i'm always applying this to the back of my hand and then i'm gonna mix the cover effects yeah they're similar kind of shades the um l'oreal foundation has more of a pink undertone whereas the cover effects has a i guess you could say a beige yeah more of a beige tanny kind of undertone and then i'm just going to 
dab this all over my skin. Just roughly, because I mean I'm gonna buff it out anyway. And start to blend that away, and then hopefully you won't notice a difference between my tan and the paleness of my face. So this, I can already tell, is a lot matter than like mixed together with the cover effects compared to how the L'Oreal is on its own. I'm not mad about it though. I can always add a little bit of um, extra glow with some highlight. But yeah, getting back to my story. So Tron and I have been in our house for a few weeks. That is our biggest announcement and a few days ago I dropped a vlog on our vlog channel um, just kind of like going through the motions of what's been happening in our life and we are wanting to upload to it as often as we can so I've kind of been filming the process like once a week um, also little things like I had something really special happen which you guys are gonna see and I'll talk about a little bit later in this video um, which is basically like a career highlight for me um and now i'll just take this and um yeah we're just wanting to how can i put it record like this is meant to be the most exciting time of our life we've been together for 10 years this year and so much has been happening that we just kind of thought you know what let's start to record it you know babies are hopefully going to be around the corner soon marriage engagement all that kind of stuff so why not just start filming it and then we've got it forever. So my next go-to step for my everyday makeup is the under eye brightening corrector, which is like a peachy tone. I just find that I get a little bit of, see, I don't have dark circles. I just find that in the center, inner corners of my eyes can tend to get a little bit dark and this really corrects them. Um, but anyway, concealer. I only tried the Morphe concealer in the shade sand probably two days ago and I don't know why I'd never touched it before I actually really love the consistency of this it's super super creamy it reminds me of like just a creamy concealer in a pot but they've put it obviously in a tube so I have been living for this for the past two days and then what I've been doing over the top is using the NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla right in my inner corners just to brighten up and lighten in the inner corner. Um, the only thing is, currently I have a tan. Normally when I don't have a tan, I don't have a colour that suits me. So, I'm going to have to jump on their website and grab a shade that fits me. Um, and then... We'll grab some of the NARS. So I'll just pop. I'm running out. I'm running low. And then I'm just going to pop some of the NARS right in here. Since moving into our house and like I've got a buffet behind me and I've got a chest of drawers over there. Where are they? Um, I've been like, oh shit, I've actually got so many concealers or I've got so many highlighters. I should probably start using these and I forgot there are so many products that I actually love or so many products that I haven't even used yet so it's really like given me like a burst of motivation to start using new products and to film more like I haven't filmed any Instagram videos for a long ass time now but I'm so motivated to because there are so many products that I have from that I've received in PR that I haven't used yet or that I have purchased myself and I just haven't gotten around to using them where I've literally used them once and thought, oh, I'd love to film a video with that and put them away for storage because we're going to be moving. So just get ready, guys, because I'm going to be filming a shitload of YouTube and Instagram videos. Um, oh, so I've just taken my beauty blender, probably should let you know, and have started blending that out. Now I'm going to contour. 
And I'm going to use a mixture of two products. So first, I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. And this is in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to take one of my favourite brushes, which is... I don't know if you can get this anymore. The Morphe AC56. And I can't see what shade this is. Oh, hang on. N NW35, I think it is. And I'm just going to apply this to the tip of my nose. Cheekbones. Or under my cheekbones. I'm just going to tuck it um, under my cheekbone on this side. Under my lip. Around my forehead, under my jaw, and then I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit more. So, because I'm tanned at the moment, normally my go to creamy concealer is one of the matchsticks in amber from Fenty, but when I'm tan, I kind of have a mixture of products. I feel like my paleness is abnormally pale and the only cream product that I've found that works for me is the Fenty Beauty Stick in Amber. Um, but I tend to go between MAC and RCMA for my creamy concealer when I'm tanned. Um, another one that I love, which isn't really a creamy concealer, it's a concealer stick, is from Smashbox. LA Girl also have another really nice one, and there's one more that I love. Oh, the um, Too Faced. Uh, Too Faced. It's like a melting powder. I think that's actually what it's called. And it is a part of their peach range, so it's in a little peach and it's bronze. And it's a powder. No, it's a cream but it turns into a powder. I don't, look, I don't understand the formula. All those formula gods out there, thank you, because it is so silky on the skin. I absolutely adore it. And then just, yep, take my beauty blender and blend it out. Um, like once I've set my T-zone, I'm gonna use a powder just to deepen it up, bronze my face up a little bit more. But obviously, because I'm using a cream, I've got to blend it out first. Then I will always, always, when I use cream products, go back in with my foundation brush. And literally blend that contour down the neck. And then just using a stippling kind of motion, I'll go over... The whole face because there's obviously product left over on the brush which is just going to make everything blend beautifully huda beauty powders are my ride or die ever since she came out with these i have been totally in love with them laura mercier are look they're definitely my number one with huda beauty coming in at 1.5 not even number two 1.5 they're my go-to for clients especially because I find that they really melt into the skin. I'm going to use the shade Banana Bread, just give it a tap on the bottom. And I'm not going to be setting my whole face. So I tend to get smile lines, I was going to say through my smile area. Obviously you know where smile lines come from. Um, I'll set my under eyes, centre of my forehead and just down the centre of my nose and I'll leave the rest of my face. And I can't remember if I already said I'm using Banana Bread. Normally I am, when I'm pale, I'm normally cupcake. And then yeah, I always use the shade banana bread when I'm tanned. See, some days I will be hell extra and like fully carve out my nose. And other days I'll just be like, oh, that'll do. I can make that work. Today I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just making it up as I go. Moving on to the second announcement for today. And that is that I have, I can't even believe I'm saying this, like this doesn't even seem real to me, but I have 
collaborated with Benefit Cosmetics on a campaign for their new Cheek Leaders palette. A lot of you would have seen that a few weeks ago I was in Sydney and I was wearing like a cheerleading outfit. I was there for two days. I was with a heap of other beauty influencers and it's because my face is going to be in Sephora and online and uh, like it's I can't even believe this is happening and it is for this palette which is the Cheek Leaders palette and I am a part of the bronze squad. So the shade that I'm representing is this one right here which is Gold Rush. Then we have Cookie, which is a brandy highlighter, which is to die for. And then we have another new product, which is the Hula Caramel. So we have Hula down here, which is my ride or die bronzer. It is honestly the perfect shade. Then we have Caramel over here, which is a, shade, a, few, oh, a few shades darker. And then we have Coralista. So I'm going to use my three faves and show you how they're used. But oh my god, I'm so excited. Yes, so... Um, while we were there, we obviously couldn't let you in on everything, but you would have seen that I was in a cheerleading outfit. I was there for a photo shoot, all of that kind of stuff. So obviously, I'm going to bronze first. I'll just let you know that. Um, so obviously, I was over there in the cheerleading outfit because the palette is cheek leaders. I was having a photo shoot because I'm representing the shade Gold Rush. And I'm going to be in Sephora. Like, what is that? I'm going to be in Sephora. I'm going to be online. I'm going to be over benefit socials and uh, Sephora socials. And I just can't even believe it. So this product was announced and launched a while ago in the US. I think it's a few weeks now. Um, and it's launching officially today in Australia, obviously. But normally for my everyday makeup, I do not contour this much. I will almost take whatever's left on my brush from the day before or I will just do a quick swirl in my product just to pick up a slight amount and then obviously contour bronze my face but I'm just wanting to use the products because this is the first time I'm using them in a video. Cool anyway moving on I'm gonna try gold rush I don't know how pigmented it's gonna show up I'm just taking my NYX 8 I think it's 8 or 80 brush and I'm going to try and use Gold Rush. I can't see why it wouldn't show up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Just a really soft, it's like a rosy, apricot -y. Look, it's very versatile. If I do say so myself. Before I do my highlighter, this is where I will dust off any excess product. So using the Real Techniques setting brush. I literally will just dust it all off. Sometimes I'll go in with a, like if I'm having a really dull under eye day, I'll go in with a banana powder. But today I think I'm doing okay. And lastly for my face, using the shade Cookie, you do not need a heavy hand with this product. So I'm just taking that on my cheekbone and on my forehead, lip, centre of my chin, oh, which I haven't actually dusted product off of. Just to give myself a really nice natural-ish glow. Taking my brush that I was using beforehand, I would just press any excess powder that was left on the brush onto my eyelids just to make sure that they don't crease any more than they already have. I will take a really big fluffy brush. This is my Morphe M501. My bronzer. Just a really little amount so you can hardly even see it on the brush. And dust it in my crease just to add a little bit of depth. Otherwise, I find that my eyes can kind of like disappear. Oh, look, obviously they don't disappear. But you know what I mean. Just that is literally all you need. And if I'm feeling a little bit fancy fresh, which I am right now, I'll take a NYX Jumbo Pencil. So this one is in the shade French Fries. 
and it looks like so. And I will look, sometimes this turns out hella messy, but I will just run it around my run it around, run it along my lash line like this. Because then when you add your mascara, it gives the illusion that you have more lashes and that you have like insane volume and thick ass lashes. Every day I make up if I'm not applying lashes, like I will not be applying lashes tonight. I will always curl my lashes just to give them a little bit of a lift. So, just going to curl both of those. And, all time favourite mascara, Roller Lash. I am always on the hunt for really good kick-ass mascaras. I've got quite naturally long and thick lashes. Don't mean to brag. Um, the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit was my ride or die for ages. I don't know why I had never tried the Roller Lash. I was sent this in PR and I have fallen in love with it. And I just tend to wiggle as much as I can at the roots to try and thicken them up a bit. And I'll do quite a few coats of mascara only because I love big lashes. So I tend to do about three coats. So there's a good comparison. No mascara, mascara, love it. I've only done two coats of mascara on my eyes but I'm feeling like that's enough. Then I'll just take the same mascara. Now I'm not wanting my bottom lashes to be fully coated. I'm just wanting them to basically look black, not like I've got mascara on them. So what I will do is very gently and very carefully, I'll just grab my mascara and literally run it straight over my lashes. When I'm coating my lashes, I generally do like a zigzag motion, but I'm just pulling it through the lashes just to coat them black. I'm going to use precisely my brow. I am a brow pencil kind of girl. Always have been, probably always will be. I find that my brows are better lighter and otherwise it just looks like that you might not sharpie. Um, and I'll use a pencil or sometimes if I'm wanting like a really natural brow, I will take some Gimme Brow or any kind of tinted brow gel and just run it through my brows. But even still, I need to fill in the tail because, you know, honestly, I don't have a lot of hair there. Just going to say. You guys need to meet someone. I need you to meet my best friend. Hi, Chops. Can you say hi? So this is Chubba. This is mine and Trent's first ever together pet, and he is a black mini lop. Hi, Chicky. He is mm, the friendliest, most divine little bunny you will ever meet. So he is five months old. He is so happy, and he will honestly go to anybody. He is just delicious, and we are best buddies. And then, just hold your horses. Say, hang on everybody. Hang on, hang on guys. And you guys, this is our littlest one, little Tinky. And she's a mini lop too. Have a look at her. Come here, mama. This is little Tinky. So she's a little grey one and she's got blue eyes and she's so fresh, aren't you mama? Hmm? And she is still a baby baby. She's three months old. Look at her. They are, oh my god, so delicious together it's not even funny. Um, I better get back onto my brows actually while I'm talking to you guys. Um, she is so delicious and they absolutely, like I'm not even kidding, they look for each other constantly. So they are my three, I guess, little like surprises and announcements and updates. 
yeah, I don't know, I just feel like, ah, so much is happening and this year is just so exciting. I'm like, beside myself. Um, but yeah, anyway, brows. Okay, so that's literally all I'm doing is just doing really small little strokes. So this is precisely my brow in shade number two. I also don't mind um, Anastasia's Brow Wiz. That's probably my the one that I use the most only because I've got so many of them. And I constantly make sure that I'm brushing them through just to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines. I actually bought some of these when I was in Sydney with Benefit because I thought they look pretty good. I'm kind of a sucker it's a new thing for me um, with lip liners at the moment. I just find that lining them in a darker shade and then filling them in with a light lipstick or a gloss, I don't know, there's something about it that's just like drawing me in and I'm living for it. Yeah, I bought this and then that week I also received them in PR, so I'm so thankful. Thanks Becca because I now have all of the range and I could not be happier. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be using the KKW look one of them I couldn't tell you what color because it doesn't have the color in the bottom of it but I'm using one of the shades um, now I have a um, slight invisible lip line so where my lip line actually ends is here but you can only see here so I've still got some foundation on my lips I'm literally just gonna line over that I find that the lipstick tends to grab to a little bit more which I love because then it lasts a bit longer every day I have been lining my lips sometimes I'll even fully fill them in with lip liner and wear a gloss or sometimes I'll purely just wear a gloss or a lipstick never a liquid lipstick or a um, matte lipstick it's always something glossy something with a little bit of moisture so I'm just gonna line my lips And then just gonna shade that in. Please don't mind my crusty crustaceans on my lips. I suffer really badly with super dry lips. They've actually been pretty good, but of course, as soon as I start feeling, ah, oh, what do you know, they're crusty again. Cool. And all I have to do is set my face. So let me set it. I'm probably going to use my Mario Badescu. I reckon I'm going to use my lavender spray. Just because I'm feeling like I need a little bit of relaxation. And I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is literally my everyday go-to makeup look. It's probably a bit glare for some people, but this is just what I do every single day. There are obviously a few steps that I may skip out on, but generally this is what I do. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I hope I've been, I feel like I've spoken way too much and have been super chatty this video, but it's because I'm so nervous and I'm so excited. You guys have met my bonds. Chubby, my mini chubs. And like I've told you guys about my house, which is so exciting and the benefit campaign. I'm just like, I don't know, Josette, Cam and Hannah, as well as the rest of the team. You are all so divine and I cannot thank you enough for this opportunity. I am like, Oh, it's just unbelievable. I'm going to be in Sephora and I worked with Benefit on a campaign. I'm just beside myself about it. There's going to be a vlog up on my channel hopefully today when this video goes up, but otherwise it'll be maybe later in the week or the following week. I've got a few vlogs that'll be going up. Um, yeah, this is just unbelievable. I just, I don't even know, like almost really giddy that I'm back on YouTube finally after how many years I'm properly taking this by the balls and doing it. I can't believe I'm going to be in Sephora. I'm finally in my house and I have my filming room set up and we have our two little bobs. I just can't believe it. I'm like, I'm just over the moon, honestly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial. Please make sure if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, to leave it below. Make sure you subscribe and like 
that would be fabulous. Um, but also make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel where you can keep up with things behind the scenes. More footage of little Bubba here. Hi, chubs. And um, little Tinky. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Mwah. Say bye, chubs. Bye. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Did you just say that? There's no mirror there. Man, hay fever is a bitch. Why am I muddy? Uh, to get a little bit of it. I hear that rustling. The, the most highly request. It's probably the most highly requested video. No. I just want to wash this makeup off and have a shower. Wow. Okay. Um, damn. This. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Honey, Papa, you're so cute. Love that foundation in my hair. Beautiful. Beautiful. My camera's gonna turn off.